Hello everyone, I'm Hyperdimensional Greenbean, and I am back with Disco Elysium. I'm sorry that it has been forever, uh, I had just an overwhelming amount of work to do. I literally have not had a full day off since New Year's, uh, and if, uh, you watch this video later, just look at the upload <laughs> when I uploaded this. It's been 12 days, like, uh, 12 days since New Year's. Um, I, I'm fucking tired as fuck, but I finally have a day off. And I wanted to get back to that. A bold slogan, Humanox, covers the truck. I want to get back to this because I do fucking love this game. I just needed uh, some time where I can actually rest and not feel so overwhelmed. So I'm glad that I, I have a chance to, to relax here and play a fun game. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as it is resembled piece, reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air, aid of numerous ropes and rods. Who is this? And plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am... Philippe the Third, the squander, the greatest of the Phil Philippian Philippian kings of Rayochol, son of Philippe the Second, the opulent father of Philippe the Fourth, the insane. Not a good track record of mental health in that family. You, as you look up, you notice something of the statue. There's some odd indentations on the king's chest piece. Uh, what indentations do I see? Something with great kinetic energy seems to impacted the circus around where the heart is. A bullet? Hmm... Someone shot him in the heart. Interesting. So, did someone shot the king? Okay. Cleans his glass while looking up. I can't see it, but I'll take your word for it. Who do you think? Well, Martinet is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution, but the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Target practice or political statement? Um, hmm. I could say it's connected to the murder, but I feel like it'd be stringing together conspiracy theories. But at the same time, I'm playing a game, and shouldn't I always be stringing together d d <laughs> such theories? I mean, if it is a king, I mean, if it's political, then what does that matter at the moment? But if it has to do with the murder, every bullet hole in Martinet to the murder will get an overwhelming amount of loose threads. Takes out of his Then again, we don't really know what we're dealing with here, so he takes a note. I've made a note. Don't hold your breath. Let's see. What did the king do? Well, I rolled like crap, so what did he do? You have no idea what you did a week ago. How did you know what this guy did many centuries ago? Okay, well, I don't know what the king did, but I know that there was a bullet hole in him, which is cool. I mean, I guess. I, I don't know if I should say that's cool, but it's cool. Uh, what is... Okay, that's what highlights things. Let's take a look at this first. Any loot I can gain? I can gain a few monies. Makes that really exciting when you gain monies. A small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on a radio. A photograph is clutched in her hand. There's a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambiotype from the turn of the century, is golden as her smile. It's the warmth of winter's night fire. Maybe she'd give you some comfort and shelter. Some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... A grandma? Grandma? 
Wait. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Why? I just told you why. <laughs> you know, that's fair. Maybe I shouldn't be so jumping to being rude. I appreciate you stopping me there. Uh, I just... Kits Kitsuragi... Uh, what's your name again? Yes? Yeah, Kitsuragi is right. Kim Kitsuragi. Uh, sorry, I need to loot this before I talk to you more. White tank top, plus one physical instrument. I don't think I have anything in that slot, probably, so... I'll take it. That makes me slightly better at, um, something I'm pretty bad at normally, so I'll take it. Anything else around here? Not really from the looks of it. <laughs> uh, should I bother you? Yes. I don't have to really talk about this. Me? Yes, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent in the investigation. We'll work together if we have more reports. Hmm. That's a fair point. All right. For the good of the investigation, what do you don't know? Uh, you don't look like the other people around here. That's because I'm half cellulite or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul, so was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. What is Seoul? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it would be interesting. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist... Pastelionary state was the insult quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. You're making it sound uninteresting. So I want to know more. Pork up the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of cellulite. I've never met either one of my grandparents. I've never been to Seoul. He almost seems proud of these things. I'm a rate regular whatever that is. Do me a secret about yourself. No. Ask again. He <laughs> writes a signal to your lips. Here's the order. Something is paralyzing. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. The eyebrow is exercising psionic control <laughs> over you. It's like you're locked down. What's happening to me? Something the matter, detective? Authority legendary failure. Damn. Hold on, it's like you're pumping his hands. <laughs> this game is so weird. There's nothing you can do. I could never ask the question. Cle clearly, Kim here is a psionic, and that's why I can't ask him stupid bullshit. Uh ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? You know, like when you're thinking, there are conversations with your brain? I have no idea what you're talk talking about. <laughs> so you're never saying, you're saying your brain never just chimes in? I can't say it does, no. Need to think, I just use my notebook. Lieutenant produces a small blue notebook and idly thumbs through the pages. There's conversations with themselves take place. You're wearing glasses, that's correct. You need the, you feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this. It can't quite muster enough uh, testosterone. No, I don't. Are they? They're mostly just cumbersome. That's all for now. You seem to be following me. Just an observation. I have a distinct way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. What do you mean distinctive? I hope you don't take this wrong way. It's just a colloquial observation. In the 57th, we call it a, the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 40... 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. How's that? 
Say it's a scene clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic yet thorough priorities containers. Yes, but containers contain things, shiny things are interesting. Why? Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes, not usually his over. He regrets to bring it up. Well, fair, I guess. <laughs> I This is an interest. This conversation, like many in this game, are fascinating, to say the least. I, I don't remember anything. Uh, I, there's a lot of- have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Some harsh edge to his word, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of hard. <laughs> so what should I concentrate on? Uh, yeah, let's tell me about the case again. Okay, well, trying to talk- Man, that's the one thing he's been kind of rude about. <laughs> let's try to not focus on your personal affairs like your total lack of memory. What's this? Where is probably sword fuel here? Now they store some booze. What's up? What's going on over here? Hi. Bastards! We have a right to work! And he all sorts of harbor gates. His voice is the loudest lot, and yet oddly screecher for at his sides. Hold up and stay frosty, everyone! Cops are here! Alpha turns to you. Full head taller than ever. You're to fuck with here. us? Beat the honest worker down? No. Good! We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps the people see us talking. Cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Rights of people, rights of workers, to have gainful employment, to make a salary, and feed their families. I can't argue with that. Maybe you should ask them the questions. Like why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit! So do we, scub! That's funny, sorts. Union chits are on full strike. Don't think they're gonna let you through the gates. Try meeting their fat boss. Nothing about a murder. Mention of killing sends a barely noticeable shiver of tenses through him. Interesting. Why is it tense? Talk about it. I'm not tense. Yes, he's tense. Right to work! Shakes his large fist and turns back to you. It's shameful. Cops are doing nothing. You should bring back up. Open the gates for us. Blockading. Gainful workers is a crime. We're not picking a side just yet, sir. Pity you. Men and women who want to work. Came here. Uh, harbor. If the union fucks don't want to work, they ought to... No question. The lieutenant looks him in the eye. Why do all these men follow your leadership? Follow because I'm big and loud? No, they follow the rules of the market. The rules of the economy because they... Were give it a job to do. Talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off this guy. Ask where he's from. Where exactly are you from? It's you. Uh. Curiosity. Curious, so you're right. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Uh, 
Came from eminent domain in Jamrock. Backrones and odd jobs. Heavy lifting, cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. Um, uh, where? I frequent a lot of bars. Maybe it's all I know. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell. Yeah, I think I've been there. Huh. Long time ago. What's a strike? On the way he carries himself, his looks vaguely mismatched. The different pieces of the attire seem ill-fitting. What does that mean? His shirt is far too small and unpleasantly tight fit. While the overalls held up by belt seem to fit a man much more cop cop corpulent. Were you wearing new clothes? Silence is the answer. There's something off here, but he won't say what. Huh. So this man is clearly lying about something here. I wonder if this dude's a worker. Maybe he's somebody causing trouble. Like, leading things... Maybe there is something deeper going on here. Some cult bullshit. Maybe this guy's holding things off on purpose. What's your goal here? Honest work. I will to breach the entrance. Main gate's locked. To take heavy ordnance to bust open. Could try to get in through the secur secretary's office. Doors locked. The guards block the way to the access panel. I mean the scrawny mesk punk either. He points at Doc Warren. I mean head measure or whatever he is. Head measure? Huge Semites guy standing up there with the horrid passage. Won't let anyone to the access panel. How bad could one by guy be? Bad. He's standing on a narrow bridge. He's got a strategically advantaged position. He's well trained. The uni is trained killer up there, but that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. Why don't you talk to them? Civilized folk, you mean? Native fucks don't understand civilized. It'd be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. Give up eventually. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Dude, is that some spare change I see? Take some spare change. And magnesium. Ooh, a healing item. Cool. Jump Jams, a popular magazine. Most able-bodied men. The issue is hosts a top ten list. What a shocker. <laughs> I feel like this is exactly the kind of thing I should make a new save for, just in case. Wait, I thought... I'm confused. Save... Well, how do I make a new save, then? What? I'm confused. Whatever. Hey, you! What's up, nerd? I'm gonna talk Scott? to you. And, uh, with jolly eyes tilting, uh, oh, wait, we can go up here? Pulling his head. What is this guy? A kind of a worm, content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Beats me. Somewhere in the ground, I think. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scab. Or I guess, scared maybe. But scared of what? Of who? Looks at a mask, squinting his eyes, trying to ascertain what they're scared of. Personally, I'd rather beg than scab. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. We've explained the matters, but they don't listen. 
This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here to the wild north? Come to see the strife? Um, murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You never see me investigating a murder. <laughs> it's actually very fun and easier. I don't believe you. Said the same thing. They tried to get me to be their postman. So fun, so easy, they said. It's just walking. He shakes his head at the memory. Wasn't. I'm doing much better here at the harbor, being an honest union man with a lot of free time on his hands. I'm exploring. Friend, I respect the right to roam. Mean you can let me through the gate? I don't operate this in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. He takes so good and points up the stairs, the flasks. The passage grants itself. I just walk in. I walk right past measure head and go, go in. Yeah, two and a half meter tall 70s supremacist there. Walk right past him, right? Then press the button to lock the door. Then go past him again, okay? You enter the harbor through the office, Esta. Gotcha, I think I have some questions for you first. What's the strike about anyways? You know, serious business. If you're the big boss would be glad to tell you, you have to ask him first. Shady guy wants to talk about the strike or turn once you've met the union boss and are on better footing with the organization. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, nah, I don't really want to ask him for money. I could, but I don't really want to. There's no lock picking or door kicking this one. Apparently, Measure Head is a powerful man. Okay. In this case, I'm okay with doing that. Hey, Measure Head, you're dumb. Your buddy betrays your degeneracy. <laughs> what? Yeah, Measure Head. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. What does that mean? What does that You mean? have succumbed to Al Ghul. Face contorts and disgust that he's selling a dead You rat. reek of it. An invisible sword of Al Ghul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. <laughs> is it really so bad? It's not good. <laughs> like a right crawl near a summit, got drunk and drowned. Wow. <laughs> I just drink a little. You weekends. mouse moves, but the one who speaks is Al Ghul. You are but a vessel for the ghoul now. Very little of yourself remain. Yeah, Occidental upload group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the am sandwich race is waning. What? I feel like I start started to space out. This guy's begging for help. Attempting to pass fear for cooperation. How far the Occidental Aplo Group has fallen. You were once a noble and powerful race. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and 
You dominated lesser cultures, like the deformed Hemians and the inexplicably potato-obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture. Well, you're obsessed with sadness. How about that, You Dick? will be superseded. Isn't that right? It is, baby. Yeah, you know it. Why don't I find him just out of reach? It must be the one that opens doors. Come on, I just need you to move like 20 it centimeters. It is back. my task to keep the degenerate drunks from entering the arbor. Enough with this begging. You should leave the stage of history with dignity. Bring your troops to the Simenang Islands and to Boogie Street. The walls will be lined with bottles of Al Rul, your beloved beverage. Inside, we will store the odes to homosexuality you call art and your microcephalic skull. So Claire is a man of vision. He has the will to confront polycultural capital something. The race nevistic community. Com communists never did. Also, to serve as Nova it takes discipline. You're petulant. Individualism slowly contributed to blah, blah, blah. I really don't care. Communism is pretty cool. <laughs> and a communist the single greatest contributor to your race descent everywhere around you the fruits of its failure I don't really care uh, above all rampart multinational whatever degenerate youth culture uh, rock and roll music I got it from disco actually I did not mean to even race is generally not a very good example of their race. I think, uh, I don't think anything about this. We're wasting our time with this conversation. I agree. That was really not a conversation I'm interested in having right now. Unfortunately, it's too close to stupid real life bullshit. I really don't want to conversate about stupid racist Asshole. That was, uh, <laughs> that was just distinctively not fun. Didn't, did not like that. Didn't like that guy, uh, at all. Hey, um, this place looks Welcome nice. to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's this magazine she's reading? You mean this? I remember boasting colorful photo of two girls this kissing. This is pop stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. Looks like it also has something called Police De La Mode. Page on page. This speaks to you.
What's this fashion place um, thing? It's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. Okay. <laughs> That's. I don't think it's so, These are all kind of bad. I guess I'm gonna go with one. Um. No, I don't think so. <laughs> we are not the fashion police. We're the real police. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know. Frit. I think they think that the extra team makes it funkier. It doesn't. <laughs> the story goes that normal fit with two T's on men's workwear shop in Vertefort was already taken, so Frit Retail grew into a multinational corporation. They had to add an extra letter to avoid trademark infringement. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like that. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... I already like this conversation a lot more. Can you tell me about the dead body? <laughs> I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it. So, do you know the man who died? Not really. I mean, you knew him a little? Uh, no, I didn't know at all. How long has it been there? I don't know, long? What do you think happened? I don't know. I need to worry soothing impression we'll just standard procedure first ask around if you hear anything let us know okay okay thank you for your help uh-huh auto save huh okay several package raincoats uh fill a low shelf beneath display of croissants and juice bottles the raincoats are transparent except for the big Fritz slogan on the back. Let's see. The packages are small, discreet, sloppily stacked, making them easier to make take a notice. No need to worry about knocking over display. Uh plus on endurance. Nah, that's okay. I could buy it, but I I'm don't want to spend my all my money on a raincoat. And on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, needle spray. Their logo is the Bloodless Rose, pure white, untouched by heart. Mm. Um, just asking if you need anything for the Saint's best day. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have nose fed and all that stuff. Okay, you're still healing stuff. Let's see, nasal spray, good painkiller, dietary succulent. I don't really know what hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended for use of lots of partying and studying or exercise. Ah, uh, a little more specific. Um, no, sorry, I'm not like a doctor or anything. Tutorial agent, thank you. St. Best, you know, the pharmaceuticals company sells meds out of St. Bestier. He's right, St. Bestier is the company uh, that drives its name from the city itself. So named because that's what it is, a rare case where that really is the full history as far as everyone knows at least. Have any ammonia? Ampule somewhere. Okay. Well, either way, I'm not going to spend money on this stuff either because I don't really have a reason to, but it's good to know. Play your cigarettes and other stuff. The bottles wink at you from the light. The smokes to glitter. Your knees are weak. Don't ask, just do. Look. 
Let's see. Don't ask. Don't look. Don't do anything. Just go away. Get back to work. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, I really don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get my guy on anything. I don't want him to get worse. I want him to get Clayton. One bottle is ten cents. What's this? That's tear medicine. What is it? It's a machine for tear? Oh, machine. You know, tear like bottles or whatever. You put in the machine and it gives you money. Bag, I guess. Okay, so I need... So if I find bottles and a bag, I could use this to get some extra money. Fascinating. Potentially useful. Um, this might be the end of this episode for now. I feel a little bad though. I mean, we did have one fun conversation. Well, we had some fun conversations. I just feel a little awkward. I'm sorry that I was kind of silent and didn't say much with the one guy. I just, I don't know. There's something about it where I'm just like, yeah, I want to talk about race supremacy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> Shut up about it. Anyways, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. I, I'm still into the game though. Um, and it, who knows, it might even be a thing that pops up in the game, but that's fine. Like, I do know the game does have political stuff, and that's fine. I'm not saying it can't, or that it shouldn't, or whatever. Uh, I'm just saying that it that's not exactly a, an interesting topic for me personally. But thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.